Good morning, you guys. Okay, so here I have a plumbago. It is blue, and it is obviously blooming beautifully, but there are a few of the blooms that have, um, that need a little bit of deadheading. That way this bush can become more full and bigger and focus more on foliage and new blooms rather than you know taking care of these old spent ones so there are some old ones that i'm just going to prune back and whenever you're pluming a plumbago it's most important to keep in mind the shape that you want it um that's the main thing that we're you know that we are searching out for is shape there's my dog, Mocha, over there. Um, so, we are going to go ahead and just trim these back to the shape that we want them. So, I'm going to go ahead and take them down and just kind of prune off just the tops. That's all I'm going to do is just prune off these little tops so that it can take a better shape okay so the main thing is you want to try and make sure that the majority of your snips are going um to be about the same height because if they're not you're gonna have a really weird shaped plant and nobody wants that so <clears throat> Um, I can go ahead and show you though. Okay, so the spent blooms are the ones that have already bloomed out look like this, okay? So that is a prime example of a spent plumbago bloom, okay? However, the blooms that are starting to emerge look kind of similar. So I'll show you one of, one of those. So, here is an example of an emerging, emerging bloom for a plumbago, or plumbago. So, the difference is, that I can tell, is there's little red spots on them, whereas the spent old blooms are kind of like a brown... They're just kind of, I don't know. They just look old. But see, here is one that's about to open that has a little blue showing. So if it has the red little spikes on it, you definitely don't want to prune that because that is a new bloom that will be opening soon. Okay, but this plumbago, I just planted it um, a couple months ago. And I'm really happy with it. I mean, it has tons of new growth, tons of new foliage, and I have just been really impressed. So, um, I am in a zone eight. I'm in between an A and a B, um, South Alabama. So, it hasn't been through a winter yet with me, but I'm really hoping that it sticks around. I just love the delicate blue blooms. Um, I think it's a great piece to my garden and I'm just going to keep pruning on this and that is really all I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this and get some more free um, tips and advice and um, you know trial and error that I have had in my garden and experienced and I hope you guys have a great day see you next time bye